All right, taken care of. Piece of cake. What else you got for me? Well, let me think. Rahim, you are just smart enough to be dangerous, you know that? Omar told me about your plans for the nest. Explosive charges? Really? What? Explosives? Oh, Never please. Said that. You can't tell a convincing lie to save your life. I know what I'm doing. Yeah? You think you can't die? You're not my mom. No, I'm not. Our mom's dead. So you might want to be a little nicer to me since I'm the only family you have left. Especially now that Amir is gone. You're Jade, right? Right. I just wanted to thank you for what you did for me and, and tell you how sorry I am for your loss. I owe you and Amir my life. Yeah, you do. You want to return the favor? Keep my dipshit brother from killing himself. No explosives, Rahim. So... So, is that enough? Do I get to talk to Brecken now? First, go change your clothes. I left some new ones for you in your room. You're in 194. Something wrong with what I'm wearing? You need something that fits the job Brecken wants you to do. Call me when you've changed. Okay, Rahim, I'm ready. Where do I find Brecken? Not so fast, 31. If you're going to earn your keep, we have to find out if you've got the skills. So get your ass up to the gym. Gym? What are you talking about? It's on the top floor. Just a couple flights up. How are zombies like computers? Rahim, I don't see you. Where are you? Los. Well, what are you waiting for? Get over here. Welcome to our gym. First things first, you've got to learn how to run. What do you mean, learn how to run? Just do what I say, all right? Now, jump down to the very bottom. Are you nuts? I'd kill myself. Don't be a wimp. Come on, you can't be serious. Watch this. Rahim! My leg! Jesus, don't move! I'll get help! Ha! Ah, I was just fucking with you! Son of a bitch! What? You can't take a joke? Come on! Get your ass down here! Christ on a crutch. <laughs> Holy shit! Holy shit! <laughs> it's a rush, isn't it? But don't blow your load just yet. There's more. To survive outside, you got to take advantage of the terrain. Most eaters suck at climbing, so the harder the terrain is, the better for you. I've got some typical situations set up for you. Let's see how you handle them.
crawl through the low, narrow passages. Ethers will have a tough time following you. Try not to slow down once you start running. Outside, if you stop, you're probably dead. Not bad. For a new... The closest I ever came to this was running track in high school. Huh. Well, then you're a fucking prodigy. Never seen anything like it. <clears throat> what? What is happening to me? Crane? Shit. Shit. Something went wrong. Rahim, what just happened to me? Oh shit. I bet you're having your first seizure. Just get back over here. Raheem, what the fuck was that? Does this mean I'm... I'm turning? Most likely, no. At least not yet. Caesars reminds you that you're infected. You better go see Dr. Zera, though. He'll check you out, probably give you a shot of antizen. Before you head out to see Zera, talk to the Quartermaster. He'll, uh, gear you up so you can go outside without getting your head bitten off. All right, they've given me an actual job, and nobody suspects I'm not who I say I am. So far, so good. And once Dr. Zara helps me manage these symptoms I'm dealing with, I'll be even better. Scout. Rahim radioed me about you. Yeah, that's me. Name's Crane. I'm not gonna bother learning your name till you survive a few days, but here, this is for you. By the way, word around the tower is you're just another deadbeat in line for food or antizen. By which I mean, the people here don't much like you. But don't blame them. It's easy to get paranoid when you're isolated 
And since somebody's jamming communications to the outside, there's plenty of paranoia to go around. Whole damn city with nobody to call for help but ourselves. You bring me some supplies from the airdrops, though, and you'll see people change their tunes in a hurry. That shit's a game changer. Uh, thanks. I'll bear that in mind. Listen, is there anything else? I'm in a bit of a rush. Also, if you're looking to get more popular, you can try helping folks. Do a few favors, they might like you more. Might even find a woman. Keep you warm at night. <laughs> Okay, new guy. Be careful out there. We've lost too many already. Okay, noob. You've got Dr. Zera set up in a semi-trailer on a fenced-in plane court. When you leave the tower, hang a left and head due south. You can't miss it. It's Crane, kid. All right, all right. Crane. Just keep moving. There's no time to take in the sight. And try not to make too much noise. Sound attracts those fuckers. I hope those rotting fuckers never figure out how to climb on Doctor? Hello? Anybody there? Camden, are you there? Damn it. Uh, so I'm supposed to get a vaccine? What? No, no. Suppressant. It's called Antizen. Suppresses the symptoms here, sit. Antizen postpones the inevitable. Best the GRE could do. Inevitable? So th there's no cure? It's a variation of rabies. There's no cure right now. But you see, I've been running tests on both Antizen and infected tissue. A cure is possible. Definitely possible. Oh shit, you really think you can figure it out? With Dr. Camden's help, yes. I think so. Uh, where did I put that injector? Well, who's Dr. Camden? A colleague trapped in Sector Zero, where the outbreak first, well, broke out. We've been collaborating via radio, though we would have made more progress if the connection were better. Also, if my earlier experiments had borne fruit, I tried injecting recombined versions of the virus into chunks of meat and leaving them around the city, hoping some of the infected would eat them so I could observe and document the results. But they didn't? Uh, it bore no fruit. I'm ashamed that I wasted so much time on it. No reason to hold any antizen in reserve now. In any case, all right. I'm quite busy, so on your way now. What was I doing? <laughs> <laughs> 